Hello! Today, I'm here to make your life easier by showing you three different ways to automate tasks with Gmail. First, let's use labels to automatically sort our incoming messages. Because I want these labels to be applied automatically, rather than manually assigning them to messages, I'm going to set up a filter to apply a label to messages based on different criteria. So, to create a new filter, click on this arrow in the search bar at the top of your Gmail screen. If you get a lot of emails from a small set of email addresses, you could label them based on the senders, which you would do by creating filters based on the email address in the From text box here. However, I get emails from a lot of different people about a few common subjects, so I'm going to filter them based on subject. So, as an example, I'm going to make the subject of this filter videos. So I type that into the subject line here, and then click Create Filter with this search. I'm going to check the box to apply a label here, and then in the drop down menu, I'm going to create a new label. I'll call it Videos, and then create the filter. You also have the option to apply the filter to existing conversations, which might meet the criteria you've established. Now I'm going to flip ahead, where I've sent a message from another account to this email address using the term Videos in the subject line. As you can see, my message is automatically filtered, and I can just click the label to read all of my videos' messages. You can set up these automatic labels for as many subjects or senders as you want, really allowing you to sort your email with a fine degree of precision. Next up, let's talk about another way that you can use filters to automate your work in Gmail. You can use a filter to perform other actions besides labeling, such as forwarding, marking a message as read, marking it as important, and a variety of other options. So, if someone emails me with a request for a meeting in the subject line, I might want the email to be forwarded to an assistant, and then marked as read in my inbox, so that I know I don't have to worry about the scheduling particulars. To do this, we start like before, clicking the arrow, placing meeting in the subject line, and then creating the filter. This time, however, we're going to check the forward it box, insert the forwarding address, and then check mark as read as well. Now I'll flip ahead to where I've sent a meeting's email to the address. As you can see, it's marked as read and has been forwarded to another account. Finally, let's look at the Canned Responses lab, which allows you to quickly fire off form responses that you use as blanket answers to certain types of emails. First, we have to enable the lab. Go to the gear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and then select Settings. From there, select Labs, and then find the Canned Responses lab and click Enable. Then save your settings and head back to your Gmail window. Now type a message that you might use a great deal, such as, Thanks very much for this, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now to set up a canned response, click on this arrow in the lower right hand corner of the Compose window, and choose Canned Responses, followed by New Canned Response. You'll have to name the canned response and save it to make it available. Now when someone sends you a message like this one, when you click Reply, you can just click the arrow, Canned Responses, select Insert, and choose the response you just created. Just like that, you can reply to an email in a few clicks without ever having to write anything. Hopefully, you find these Gmail automation tips helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!